breaking news. And that breaking news, a two-year-old has died after a shooting in Covington. Thanks a lot for joining us at 5. I'm Mike Dardis. And good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. So police rushed to the scene here along Warren Street. It's just south of 25th Street shortly before about 1 o'clock this afternoon. And now police are looking for the child's mother. So a strange twist of events this afternoon. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes is live with the breaking details. Hi, Todd. Yes, Sheree, that twist just began to unfold and unravel about 10 to 15 minutes ago based on a tweet from Kenton County's Commonwealth's attorney, Rob Sanders. More on that in a moment. But what we know at this point is that somehow a gun went off inside a Skyline View apartment around 1245 this afternoon. Police say the bullet that was fired has since claimed the life of a child, as you indicated. Now, a neighbor who lives in the apartment building here on Warren Street um, told me he watches an ambulance absolutely flew to get here, was racing uh, to get here so quickly. First response took the two-year-old, who's believed to be a little boy, to Children's Hospital in Cincinnati. Now, how, how and why the shooting happened, that remains a mystery. It's being investigated right now. But in a statement released earlier, Covington police officials say they do not believe there is a danger to the public. Of course, we're going to keep working to find out more information. But in the meantime, you can tell how serious the situation was from the start by the way first responders reacted. Ambulance and rescue is en route. Yeah, we need them here now. It's a through and through in his chest. Copy that. Now, and again, I mentioned a, just a tweet a few minutes ago by uh, Commonwealth Attorney Rob Sanders. He said the police are looking for a woman, a 23-year-old Selena Farrell, who has a warrant for a violating probation. Uh, he said that Covington police want to speak to her about the, quote, shooting death of her two-year-old this afternoon. Uh, Sanders saying that Farrell fled the scene before police got here and then never showed up at Children's Hospital in Cincinnati. Uh, but Sanders did emphasize that he said she's not believed to be the shooter. So that only raises more questions in reading that statement from uh, the Commonwealth's attorney here in Kenton County. Now, Warren Street, where we are, it becomes 26th Street heading toward Latonia, just around a bend uh, to my right. Um, Holmes High School, it's a few blocks east of here, and I've certainly seen a lot of young people who are walking home from class this afternoon, clearly shaken by the news that they started to process when they discovered what had taken place. For now, reporting live tonight here in Covington, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Just heard breaking.